Good morning, brothers and sisters. I hope you listen to me and listen to me very carefully because there is no time left. Time is running out. The rapture of the church is about to take place. Jesus is about to break the sky. The time for playing games has come to an end. On this channel, I want to bring you love, but I want to bring you the truth. I want to speak truth. I want to bring light upon this dark world. Christian brothers and sisters, and to those of you that are unsaved, you need to hear and hearken and listen to the watchman's warning. Many today are falsely under the impression that uh, once you are born again and once you are saved, you need to do nothing, nothing at all. You're saved by grace, not by works. At least any man should boast. But do you truly, following so many people on YouTube, do you truly understand the scriptures? The Apostle Paul, the Apostles, the disciples, they never asked anyone for offerings, for money to feed the poor, to take care of the orphans and the widows. They didn't ask anyone. Paul was a tent maker. Indeed he was. But we're at the lateness of the hour. We have to understand who are we following in these very last moments and last days, they preach a good word and it sounds good. But are they preaching the truth of the gospel? We are saved by grace, not my works. But once you are born again, covered in the blood, you are convicted to go out, not to be idle, not to just sit here, but to go out and to tend to the widows, tend to the poor, to feed and clothe the naked. The homeless, remember the living word regarding the sheep and the goats. Brothers and sisters, we, we need to follow the living word. To do good works is not a works-based gospel. It's what Jesus called us to do. So many people that are, are, are preaching on YouTube have not got the time in and the understanding and we are following them like like, uh, like rats on a ship, the Pied Piper leading them in the wrong direction with the wrong understanding of the living word. I want to take you to scripture. And again, the Apostle Paul, the, the disciples, they never took donations, they never took collections to, to tend to the needy. I have my coffee. Can you see? This time, so I am going to share. I got another cup. I'm going to share coffee with you this morning in this important scripture. So let me take you not to my words, but to the living word. And we are going to go to the New Testament, to the time after Yeshua was ascended up to the Father. But the work, the good work of Yeshua, must continue. But people today would have you believe that that's a works of the gospel. That's all part of the Hebrew Roots movement. Let me take you to the New Testament after Jesus ascended back to the Father. And we are waiting for him to return for us. But the book of James, chapter 2. Let me read this to you quickly. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and you have respect for him that weareth the gay clothing. And say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme? That worthy name by the which ye are called, if ye fulfill the royal law according to the script, this is the New Testament, this is James. If you 
fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. We are to keep the commandments. They would have you believe today that the commandments are done away with the Ten Commandments. We are to keep the holy commandments of a holy God. For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. The law, as far as burnt offerings and sacrifice have been done away with. If you are a Gentile, a non-Jew, you don't have to keep the feast of, the, uh, of our Lord. But you've got to keep the commandments and you have to do good. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that hath showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And I could continue on in James chapter 2. Read James chapter 2 completely. Let me take you quickly. Regarding taking offerings and asking for help to feed the homeless. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul words, not mine, in the New Testament after Jesus ascended and went to the cross and on the third day he rose and ascended back to the Father. This is after his ascension. Second Corinthians beginning at chapter 9, for as touching the ministering to the saints, it is urgent for me to write to you, for I know the forwardness of your mind, for which I boast of you to them, of Macedonia. But a child was ready a year ago, and your zeal hath provoked very many. But they had given so much, so much offerings to help with the ministering to the poor and to the orphans and to the widows. Yet have I sent the brethren, least our boasting of you should be in vain in this behalf but as i said ye may be ready least haply if they of macedonia came with me and find you unprepared we that we say not ye should be ashamed of this same confident boasting therefore i thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they would go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty your collection your donations but the same might be ready as a matter of bounty and not as of covetousness. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth. So important. Because people just love to come on the attack of those that have ministries such as myself. And there's others on YouTube as well who work with the homeless and the poor. And they just love to attack us, and that's works, and he's just asking for money. Well, you can see clearly here, the Apostle Paul dealt with the same issues. Let me continue. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposed in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound 
toward you, not ye, also having all sufficiency in all things may abound in every good work. I love you all. There, there is no time for any of the nonsense anymore, any of the game playing on YouTube. And the, the devil is on a rampage. That tells me. But that, that trouble is going to sound any second. I love you all. Ministry announcements, I'm going to thank. Uh, there have not been much coming in. The devil is on a ferocious attack of this ministry and others on YouTube that are trying to do what is commanded of us by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to Yeshua HaMashiach. There have been not many offerings or bounty coming in to this ministry, God's ministry to the homeless. But I want to thank a precious sister from Texas for an amazing gift, all she had, of $3. And I want to thank uh, precious sister Hop, who heads our music ministry at our Rapture Ready Church uh, over at Tiny Chat, for a gift of $25. If the Holy Spirit lays on your heart to support this ministry or any other ministry, I'll put the link below. God bless everyone.